Hey guys, Active Exploit here, uh, back again with a new video. Uh, and in today's video, we are going to talk about subdomain enumeration. Um, and in today's video, I'm going to show you various methods to enumerate subdomains, right? To find as much as uh, possible information and as much as uh, subdomains you can, right? So, uh, why is subdomain enumeration important? So subdomain enumeration is really important and it's a part of information gathering process and it can be useful in bug bounty programs a lot. Uh, so let's say uh, you have participated in a bug bounty program uh, and the company which you participated for the program in uh, might be working on a subdomain years ago, right? Uh, and after that they might have stopped working on that subdomain and it might contain vulnerabilities, right? Uh, which they uh, still haven't patched. So, uh, uh, they might also have forgot to remove it, right? Um, so, by using your subdomain enumeration skills, you can find that subdomain and discover vulnerabilities on it and exploit them. And uh, uh, as soon as you exploit them and uh, send them a proof of concept, uh, uh, you, you can get uh, paid well for that, right? So, uh, without any further ado, let's get started. So, uh, the first method to enumerate subdomains is by using a tool called Sublister and um, it is a very useful tool um, to enumerate subdomains. So first of all, uh, you, you'll actually have to install it on your Kali Linux machine. Uh, it's, not def uh, it's not installed by default, right? So as usual, we will first of all start by opening a terminal. And uh, now we shall proceed to um, install that tool, right? So to install the tool, you have to say apt get install sublister. Uh, note that um, instead of e, I have put up over uh, I have put up three over here, right? So just uh, wait for the command to complete, and it says um, sublit sublister is already the newest version. So I already installed this tool, and I don't have to install it again, right? So um, you can just fire up the tool by saying sublister and pressing tab to auto complete, right? And it says it requires an argument called D, which stands for domain. So uh, let's have a look at what arguments can we give to the command. So uh, let's say sublister dash h. And uh, so we will first of all have to uh, uh, specify a domain, right? So we will first of all have to specify a domain uh, using the dash D flag, right? And it also has a sub root uh, brute force module. Um, and we can give the number of threads and all. So, uh, first of all, to begin with, uh, we, uh, we will have to specify a domain name, right? So, uh, let's say sublister dash d, and I'm going to give yahoo.com as the domain name, right? Uh, now, this is going to take some time, uh, so uh, I'm just going to um, give it some time to complete the scan, right? So uh, the scan got completed and uh, it took around two to three minutes um, for, for the scan to complete, right? Um, and as you can see, we find a lot of subdomains over here uh, and, and we even find some uh, hidden subdomains such, such as admin-hv1.obs and so on. Uh, so uh, subdomains like this, uh, you can just visit them and you know try to enumerate, uh, uh, enumerate a bit. Uh, on them and find vulnerabilities and exploit them and report to the company right uh, so this was the first method to enumerate subdomains uh, and now let's move on to the uh, second methods which is by using google docs right so uh, google docs uh, if, if you are not familiar with google docs uh, google docking i would suggest that you should first of all watch uh, a video on google doc docking right google hacking so uh, to find subdomains related to yahoo.com we shall we shall uh, begin on with site and a colon and let's say yahoo.com uh, and as you can see you only have uh, results for yahoo.com and the subdomains uh, of yahoo.com right so as you can see you see like uh, there are a lot of subdomains over here such as ca.yahoo.com uh, greetings.yahoo.com and if you have a look at the second page, as you can see, you have malaysia.yahoo.com and so on, right? So if you try to dig in deeper, um, uh, you'll get a lot of information using this, right? Uh, so let's have a look at the third page. Uh, and it says, we, okay, we have one finance.yahoo.com subdomain. Um, 
we have mobile.yahoo.com let's have a look at the fourth page and we have smallbusiness.yahoo.com and so on right so uh, you can use google docking to you know also find subdomains and uh, now let's have a look at the third method through which we can enumerate subdomains all right so uh, the last method which i wanted to show you for this video uh, for finding subdomains is by having a look at the certificate of a domain name or a, or a website right so if i have a look at yahoo.com and now if i have a look at the certificate of this website as you can see we find a lot of subdomains not not much but we we still find a few subdomains over here which can be useful to us right uh, so as you can see we were find we were able to uh, find subdomains related to our target and uh, these methods can really be important and useful in real life scenarios right um, like there are still a lot of methods and tools uh, to discover and enumerate subdomains uh, you can have a look at them um, uh, on the internet right there are a lot of blogs related related to it right so uh, that's all for today's video um, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video uh, till then goodbye and happy hacking